Perfect. Listen to the show? No, I mean, I haven't heard the intro. Right, one sec, let me get some drinks. Let me do some. Let me count really quick. I believe you will be the in the last five episodes, the fourth Jewish white Jew from the East Coast. That's crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I think between Justin, Ben, Ariel, you, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> we've had a pretty good run. So is Nicole not? Oh yeah, make it five. <laughs> I wasn't even, I was, you know, giving Nicole, I was, I was letting Massachusetts differentiate itself from New Jersey uh, and New York. I was giving her yeah. the benefit yeah. of that, but, uh, <laughs> we're excited to have you here, man. Thank you, man. Very I'm exciting. Glad to be here. Yeah. It's going to be, uh, you know, uh, our technical director, Ariel Berman yeah. oh, has yeah. been making the show look very nice since we've moved from Ann Arbor to LA. Oh, okay. Um, he's currently... In the, I don't even know if I'm allowed to talk about what he's currently in the middle of. Really? Is um, one, I think soon we'll talk about oh, it. Oh, oh. Uh, have you? Yeah. Yeah. A bit of a battle. <laughs> uh, so he's not with us today. Katie Fitzgibbons, uh, is you know busy seeking employment. Oh. Um, this podcast pays n- zero dollars. Yeah, I, no, I was just doing this out of goodness yeah. of my heart. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. And like the guests wouldn't be even if this was making money. The guests would not be paid. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my headphones up. There we go. Uh, the guests would not be paid. Is that how podcasts work? All of them? I have no idea. <laughs> this one, okay. this one. If you come on, it's a treat to come on. But I mean, yeah. in a in a perfect world, I would love to pay. You know, super producer Katie. I would love to pay uh, tech director Ariel. I would love to pay. You know, the people that do the music and the art for the yeah. show. But. We're youngins moving out to LA. Yeah, what am well, I you, do? You're youngins moving out to LA. I get it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll get into what you are later. Um, but uh, so that's that whole thing was a long way to say we're ba- we're doing a bit of a traditional um, show today. One camera, the oh, yeah. OG camera. One, you know. I would have been impressed if you had like four of them all around here, and <laughs> I could just like do like pans. And sh- well, that's usually kind of what it is. R- uh, yeah, Ariel usually started. comes in and sets up multiple cameras. Oh, this really? Is, this is usually a three-camera show, or it has been in the last few weeks. Why? What? Why do you need to switch it though? Is it just? Yeah. Well, we have. Yeah. Uh, well, and this is kind of a fun peek behind the curtain for the listeners. We have the wide camera here that ideally gets all three of us on the couch. Usually, the guest, Katie, and yeah. me. Then we usually have this camera over here set up shooting just on me and a camera right here getting the guest and or the guest and Katie. Okay. Or me am and I, the guest. Am I in that shot? Yeah, I believe you are in that oh, shot. Okay. I'm pretty sure you're in that shot. I'll just I'll just lean in like this. Yeah. Oh, well, why don't you introduce yourself to the camera? My name is uh, Jacob Burko. <laughs> Thank you again. Um, I went to Michigan with, with all the guys. With when the when dudes. Yeah, with the boys. You yeah. Know? Um, I've known Ben since freshman year. Yeah. And he's been in film, you know, chasing his passion. Yeah, yeah. Never doubted him for a second. Really? You believed in him from the beginning? Yeah. I wow. may just be super naive and believe in people way too easily. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah. You see I mean, the good. 
yeah, you know, he has accolades. The dude wrote a <laughs> screenplay and yeah, the yeah. first draft. We've talked about how award-winning Ben is on this show. And, yeah. we, and we'll get back to Ben, but I want to I wanna go away. Well, first of all, you're from New Jersey. Of We've course. said that already. I'm from South Jersey. And, and you're in L.A. right now to visit Ben? Yeah, just, just to visit. Just to hang out? Yeah, I saw very cheap flights, yeah. and I was like... Sounds like the best time to go to L.A. Yeah. before I find a job and everything like that. And you would say, would you say, is it is this a fair statement? You have um, almost nothing to do with, like, film or, like, ed- the entertainment industry Th- making content? Literally nothing to do. Nothing, with zero film. to do. The only thing that I had to do was going to film parties, which is why I'm <laughs> you. Yeah. Which is nice. And this that will make you, I mean, really one of the, you know, very few... Potentially only. I mean, I can think of a, but like you are the least affiliated with film people that's been on this show. Oh, yeah. Like there was no reason for me to know film people (laughs) besides the fact I didn't like frat parties and film parties were sick. So, and then so (laughs) film parties were sick. I'm more of a house party. (laughs) That was more your vibe. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of a basement where it's sticky all the time. That, you don't like right. where your shoes stick to the floor. No, I wear hot. Vans, so the whole thing is flat on the bottom. Yeah, so yeah. it's like, I don't even the know. The whole soul sticks to it. To. Yeah. It's like the whole floor is made of, ser- it's disgusting. <laughs> so yeah. so you took better to the film, the, 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 the film group. Yeah. So the choices were frat parties with some other roommates, um, computer engineering parties, which is what my major is, yeah. which don't exist. Uh, or they did, and... I, I don't the, know where they were. I don't think they existed. I don't think. I don't think, <laughs> I don't they, think they, do. they existed. Yeah, and then you know, film parties with Ben. Yeah, and Tom Cohen filmic and all that. So yeah. you, so you're a, you work in software engineering. Yes. And I know, I wouldn't say I know nothing about it, but I know very little about it. And here's, and actually, we've had the the man that made that theme song, that wonderful theme song, was also an Eex major at Michigan. Who? His name was Maxwell Scroggs. He would have oh, been a year older know. than you. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what I would, I always try to get him to, because when people try to, like, I, I like to know how things work, and I'm, I'm, I'm interested in how computers work, and I can usually have somebody walk me back the steps of how a computer works until you get to the point where, like, I don't understand how we went from writing stuff down on paper to that be that becoming a computer uh can you help me with this i can get you s- like big jumps yeah. between them but i don't know the intricacies okay um so there's the first computer that was made still had paper with it it was okay. a slot card and it had like a bunch of rows and then like s- rectangular slots in it where you'd push the computer would push it out it would f- it would feed out a, an an- a readout, an answer in that yeah. card slot. Got and someone it. would decipher it. It was kind of, I think that the oh. first computer was actually just a calculator. Okay. And like it used the slot cards to do that. Okay. And when you say, say decipher, 100% true. Decipher it from the slot card. What do you mean by that? There's like a bunch of dots on it? It's, it's literally just like rectangle. It's like, say like 10 rows horizontally and then vertically, like, or well, I guess like 10 columns and then like 40 rows. And you'd put it into the computer, almost like a time punch yeah, card, right, right, kind of right. like that. That's what and I'm then picturing. it would literally press out slots, oh, and that would read That would be something. your answer. And I think okay. it would be a calculator. Okay. I don't, See, I don't no, really know this is working for me, because I never got that. That's helping. That's the first, wow. like, computer. I think it was made by IBM. Okay. Um, I don't know how it got upgraded. Right. But uh, it, yeah. Oh, it was... I think it was in binary. And so okay. what binary is, is zero, one, zeros and yeah. ones. And those can represent numbers or letters, depending on how you use it. Like depending ASCII. on what string of, like, zero, one, zero. Yeah. It's a language. So yeah, so, like, zero, zero, zero. Zero, one is one. And then one, zero is two. Okay. One, one is three. And then it just keeps <sighs> going on like that. Yeah. Wow. It's confusing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking like my brothers were both into computers. Okay. They're both software engineers. Okay, wow. And I mean, 
you know, they build a computer and I'm like, that's the coolest shit I've ever seen. I didn't know you could build it wow. and it was not that complicated. So I got into it as well. So, okay. So that, so yeah. it started when you were a, a little, how, how, how young, how little, how little, like, I mean, I'm not, that <laughs> not height. Now. What about age? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, because it's like, you know, we always had game systems. It was always around. Yeah. Like you were always a gamer? My brothers are five and seven years older than me. Oh, yeah. cool. So I'm like yeah. 10 years old. They're playing Call of Duty. Wow. And I'm like, oh, you get to like shoot stuff and yeah. fight against zombies that I are like Nazis. That. And yeah. I'm like, as a Jew, I'm like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> like that. Let's go. Let's yeah. get it. So what were your, yeah, what was, what was the first game system you remember having? GameCube. Yeah, dude, me too. <laughs> Pretty sure. Me well, too, dude. It's either GameCube well, or Game Boy. I had also like, did you ever have? <laughs> I had like a Logit, a Logitech V V pad or something. It was like a little educational game thing that I had for oh, a second. Oh, like the uh, the really wide one. Yeah, and it was like thick as hell. Yeah, I remember it had a Shrek game on it that was like math. But then, was but there a SpongeBob game. Yeah, yes, yeah. I think I had that. Yeah. Yeah, and that was, like, fun, but, like, you know, you have that for, like, a year, and you're like, I need to play some real fucking video games oh, right now, dude. Yeah. And, and so, GameCube. so GameCube, Game Boy probably came at about yeah. the same time, and what were your, dude, what were your games, man? Oh, very specifically on the Game Boy, it was Pokemon. Nice. Pokemon Ruby. Okay. I like the red one, yeah. and Ruby is cool as hell. Okay. I think it's Gen 3. Um, So you don't have Charmander. You have, like, Torchic. Okay. Um, But... I recently, very recently found out after I bought a, a new copy of it that Game Boy Emerald or Pokemon Emerald is like an upgraded version. I thought it was just like, you know, a different fire version. red, yeah. leaf green, and then sapphire blue or whatever the hell it is. And and what is okay. Emerald? Uh, it's just like they, can, they made it like two years later. So oh. it's like the best of both. And then they added oh. a bunch of shit to it. Huh. And then I was like. Did you ever have the, uh, did you ever get like the Game Boy emulator on your phone? Oh, yeah. yeah. When I had, I used to have an Android um, when I was in sixth grade because both my brothers just had a bunch of Androids because they were nerds like that. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> getting an emulator on that is a matter yeah. of seconds. <laughs> it is easy. So, yeah. Your brothers like the customization factor of the Android. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they liked, oh, yeah. They love that shit. <laughs> you wanted to be able to mod your phone. What about GameCube? I'm trying to think of the GameCube games. That Mario Strikers. Dude, and, Super and Mario Kirby. Strikers. Did oh, you play the Kirby God. game, the Kirby Racers game, where you had, like... No, I, I was not. Kirby was the one that I never really... I mean, outside of, like, playing as Kirby on Smash, I don't think I ever played a Kirby game. It wasn't, like, actual Kirby. It's yeah. just, like... It's not even like Mario Kart at all. It's it's like you have one map, and there's a bunch of cars on it, and they do a bunch of random shit, and then you just race around the map. Like, you could do it with a friend, but there was huh. really no purpose to the game at all. Wow. Except I think a volcano exploded in it. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a purpose. Did you, have, dude, did you ever play Super Mario Sluggers? No. That was the baseball one. I liked that even more than Strikers. That's that's fair. It's just a matter of if you like baseball or <laughs> soccer more. Yeah, I'm more of a well, soccer guy. Did did strikers have like sluggers had a, a story mode that was almost like Super Mario where it had different like worlds and like a map where like you know how Super Mario there's like stages in the worlds? Yeah, no. I, I know what you're talking strikers about. Strikers had that. <laughs> she wants you to pet her. No, no, she's uh, not worth it, baby. Um and sluggers had that, but like instead of like playing a platforming level, you had to win a game against a team. That sounds and you beat sick. that. And I really, I really liked that a lot as a as a youth. And uh, did you ever play? Um, you need progress in the game in order to like really oh, enjoy it. To really scratch that fucking. T -t 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 yeah, game. that's why. Like, I like Smash against yeah. people, but like, I get bored exactly. of it pretty quickly. Same. Ex and but when I was a y when I had the Super Smash Bros. Wii. I really liked that campaign mode. That was a Super Smash Bros. We had a campaign. Yeah. Oh, there's a campaign mode in, in this. I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, it's and it's still, like, not really a campaign, not great, but it's still, it did, it was just enough to scratch that fucking narrative itch in my brain. No, nah, that's, that's fair. Um, did you ever play Super Monkey Ball, dude? Yes. What Man. system was that on? GameCube. Oh, I had GameCube. it for the GameCube, When dude. did they add it so that it was, like, a level where you could tilt it? Yeah, because oh, that's that, a good question. I don't remember. No, did they make a Switch version of that game? I mean, they did. That's not the no, one but I you're. Was I know what you're talking Might have just about, been though. Me. No, I think. I think here's what I think. I think Super Monkey Ball One didn't have it, and Super Monkey Ball Two for the GameCube did have it. But you're saying GameCube wouldn't have had the motion. It would not. Controls. It did not have a 
Huh. I might have had a gyroscope or a accelerometer. <laughs> no, it seems like it probably would have. I don't think it did. But I do remember. Because yeah. the Wii definitely did, and that shit yeah. was hype. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. Let's keep going through it, dude. What Wii games did you like? <laughs> Honestly, Wii Sports was just fucking Classic. Bang. And I still will fuck anybody up in Wii Tennis, dude. dude Nobody I can. wish you had that here. I'd be going crazy. They have, they have Switch Tennis over at the girls' house. and Switch? Oh. It's like it's just like yeah. you know their version of it, but dude, I'm still I'm fucking under like nobody has beaten me. Really? Nobody has beaten. I want to try that. You might have fun. to. Yeah. Dude, switch boxing. I like switch boxing. I feel like that would be <gasps> dope because they had boxing or we boxing. Is that so you're right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you don't have a controller each hand. Well, you you, have, you plugged in the nunchuck. Yeah, but that you're not punching with them. I want to fucking like dip, duck, dive, dodge. That would be sick, dude. Dive, oh, dive. that would be like, what if they really did? Like, what if we got a Mike Tyson punch out with like, like 3D Tyson punch out, but instead of like controlling, like you're the guy. Oh, I mean, Switch. have you ever Switch. played on VR? No. Really? Like ever? Oh, like any game ever? Um, I've played. I mu- I must have played. I've done. Ah, that's a good question. Beat Saber, super hot. I've I've played super hot on a PC. I've never played Beat Saber. Like I know what it is. When you say you played super hot on a P. What do you mean? Because it's very much a game where it's like I. That's can't the first person shooter where you run around and you like you got to kill a bunch of dudes coming at you, right? Yeah, but like the whole point of super hot is that when you're not moving, time stops. Yeah. And then when you do move, it speeds up, and then you have to react mm-hmm. based on that. So, like, you could be stuck in a position that's, like, really awkward, and you have to move because you're going to fall over. Right. Yeah. I played that game on a computer. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if it, if it works, it works. I, I just, I'm I sure know. it's more fun on, yeah. on VR. I want to play, like, uh, actually, I saw a, a Jedi game today yeah. on VR. Nah, that, what that is one that? Looks sick. Uh, that's not, that can't be licensed by Star Wars. It oh, I mean, it, it has is, to you be, think? bro. That would be a Star Wars zone by yeah. Disney, right? Yeah, that's true. I guess maybe, but I mean, I watched a dude use a lightsaber to cut a guy's head off and then use the force to grab it I and then that. jump in the air and put it between his legs and dunk it. Yes, I yeah. did see that. Uh, yeah, that was like sick. Between both <laughs> yeah, 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 I saw that. And then we think that's a licensed stuff because it's hard for me to imagine Star Wars being like, you can do this in our game. Oh, decapitate someone with a lightsaber? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I played Force Unleashed, but like that just seemed, it seemed to, yeah, I don't know. It didn't seem like Disney would sign off on what I, Dude, on the Force clip Unleashed I saw. Dude, Force Unleashed was gruesome. Yeah. That guy was crazy because you can Miss choose good or bad. Right. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like infamous. Oh, man. I or Harry Potter, Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> did you play that game? Yeah, I played that game. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think? <laughs> so I... <laughs> the game's coming out, and there's this whole controversy because J.K. Rowling's super transphobic, obviously. Right. And I asked my brother, I'm like, yo, are you going to get this game? Because we game share. And I'm like, are you getting this game? He's like, I've been waiting for this game for 12 years. Mm-hmm. Of course I'm buying yeah. this game. Like, he loved Harry Potter before yeah. he knew about right. it. Right, like, and, like, fuck J.K. Rowling. Yeah, and also, obviously. like, the game developers. Like, there's, yeah, there's yeah. people that worked really hard on this game that probably are in that yeah, can, can Separating you, art and the artist or exactly. whatever it is. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that game is sick. Like you liked it. Oh, it's amazing. Like there's so people are kind of annoyed because they. Yeah. No. Did you ever play Lego Harry Potter? Mm-hmm. You know how it's all puzzles. Mm-hmm. And some people didn't like that because Star Wars, Lego Star Wars, isn't like that at mm-hmm. all. So playing that game is kind of the same vein, except the puzzles are way better because you have like thirty spells. Right. There's a lot more to do. Yeah. So you'd be pulling up to an elevator, and then you gotta uh, uh, repair it, and then you you go down yeah. the elevator, and then you get into like a bunch of other shit. And right. It's, yeah. I, ooh, I, Charlie's been on a podcast hiatus for a couple weeks. Oh, she seems like she's been excited to get back in. Yeah, she will, yeah, you can put the mic up to her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, she knocked over a couple cameras. Oh. And that got her. That got her put in the crate. But now with yeah. this setup, it's easier to have Charlie out. What? What? Crazy. You just took her for a walk. She's I, so no. Sick. She just wants attention. She gets upset when she doesn't get constant yeah. attention. Um, I thought. <sighs> oh, Bob. Pause for Charlie. I don't think that this pause is gonna end if we keep doing this.
Yeah, I usually just gotta ignore. Her. She'll <sighs> stop. She'll stop eventually. Yeah. When she, once she realizes that she has everything in the world that she could possibly need, <laughs> she'll stop. Yeah, it takes. I mean, she has a pug. It might take a second, but I think she'll have it. <laughs> So uh, smarter than my dog, though. Yeah, a Shih Tzu Yorkie, you said. Shih Tzu Yorkie mix, yeah. What's the name of that mix? A shit, a sh- Shorky. A Shorky. Yeah. That's kind of cute. You like little dogs. Um, I mean, he's very tiny. I I love all dogs, yeah, but I could never own anything bigger than a Border Collie. Okay. Mainly because it's like... It's a big dog. I think about take, like, picking up the shits, and I'm like, dude, it's a... <laughs> It's like a plastic bag. You the have whole to time. get a, a pooper scooper for those dogs. Yeah. The fuck, you need a shovel, bro. <laughs> what do you like? I don't know how a pooper scooper is gonna hold that. It's like three pounds. Um, which is crazy because they're still not bigger than like us. Right, but it yeah. seems like he shits a lot. Yeah, hundred percent. Come on, come here. I got nothing for you. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I'm glad we had a little video game hour there. Yeah. I liked Hogwarts Legacy. I probably played about 30 hours of it. Felt like it was a little repetitive. It, it, so someone brought this up to me and you know how like Batman, uh, God of War and Spider-Man are all in kind of like same idea. It's like third person fighting game. Yeah. I... I'm like, okay, this is a completely different world, and I love all three games. And, mm-hmm. you know, even if Batman's super repetitive, I love beating the shit out of Batman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, right. and all that, and the story mode. Yeah, I guess, yeah, like, Arkham Knight is probably, or Arkham City is probably my favorite game ever. Right. Yeah. Dude, that was uh, just as good as Dark Knight as, like, a plot yeah, line. Yeah. I loved it. Oh, so, like, and, like, you just felt like you were Batman. Yeah, <laughs> I am Batman. <laughs> yeah, I've tried to play Arkham Asylum and I get my ass beat yeah. every time. Arkham Asylum's tough. Yeah, I need to play Arkham City more. Arkham City's tight. Arkham Knight, I love like too much Batmobile, but like, I need to play Arkham it. Knight a bit more because I've, I'm big on like watching gameplay. Yeah, or like the story mode of the game. So I've seen a lot of like the the whole uh, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't played Arkham Knight. The whole Batman death scene. Mm-hmm. Nightfall, and, yeah. Yeah, and then the Batman resurrection scene, and then the Batman second death scene. <laughs> <laughs> Double spoiler. You've seen all alert. of that, yeah. Well, that game's got to be, what, eight, nine years old at this point? Eight years old, probably? Oh, my God. I think that game came out in 2015. Dude, when the fuck did Arkham City come out? That looks so good. 2011, 2012? Yeah. Did Mark Hamill play Joker? Yeah. In all That's three. In all three. So versatile. He's so good. So good. And... I mean, yeah, dude. Wow, I love Batman so much. Yeah. Have you watched Batman Beyond? Because I think that yeah. might be my favorite like animated Batman Whoa. series. Um, gosh. I mean, for me, and this probably doesn't count because it's not dead, but like the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited was like the peak of that animated superhero world for me. What? Are you Justice League and ju- like Justice League the show? Yeah. I don't think I've ever watched that. What? Or Injustice. Because there's like, there's the Injustice games. Mortal Kombat DC game was yeah. like a crazy idea. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I liked Injustice. I played, I didn't read the comic. I liked the game. I read a little, again, like I don't read the comics just because like, A, I don't know where the fuck to find them. Yeah. I don't want to buy all of them. Yeah. B, it takes a while. There are a lot, and there's a right. lot of ver- verbos for what? It, lots of words. <laughs> verbiage. They talk, yeah, yeah, verbiage. They talk a shit ton in those, and I'm like, yeah. dude, I can't handle that. Wow, wow. <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> so there's a dude that I watch who goes over like the entire, uh, cool. like not just one volume, like right. the whole fucking thing in like, like 30 minutes. Oh yeah. well, so Justice League was just like a, a Cartoon Network, like uh, re- yeah. Just dude, you should you should I think yeah. it's on I think it's on HBO Max. I mean I could definitely check it out. Check it out, dude. Have you seen the animated DC movies? Because those are like yeah. other level. Yeah. Sick. The best. Batman Under the Red Hood. Yeah. Like, awesome. I think that one's like the best one. Yeah. Cause those ones are like the <laughs> who do you think that is? Ben. Let him in. Uh you're going to a concert tonight, we should say. 
Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Boy Genius, 100 Gex. I've never heard Boy Genius before. <laughs> Who, who's the main singer? <laughs> Phoebe Someone, Bridgers. Phoebe Bridgers, yeah, I know. Ben talks about her all the time. Loves what did Ben her. say? Phoebe Bridgers. Oh, you just fuck said her. her name? He said Phoebe Bridgers, fuck her. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know 100 Gex. insulting Gex, you. You know 100 Gex, and you're a big 100 Gex fan. I'm a solid 100 Gex fan. Ben got me into hyper pop. Um... I was just very excited to go to a concert. He was like in the Hollywood Bowl, 100 Gex, and I'm like, that shit sounds fucking amazing. Cool, yeah. And then he was like, it's on Halloween, and I can wear a Care Bear costume to a concert, which is a lifelong dream of mine. Is it? No, it's ever since I. <laughs> it's been a, it's a week long dream like a, of yours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so pretty, pretty big. So you're more. So you've never heard. Uh, that's cool. You've never heard a song of the headline. Are you excited? Um. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. I listened to a bit of Phoebe Bridgers. Yeah. It's a crazy combination because right. 100 Gex is hyper pop. And if anyone doesn't know that, it's like the best, worst music you've ever heard. And <laughs> some of it's like one of them is I Got My Tooth Pulled Out is yeah. one of 100 Gex songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the song is about he has a tooth that hurts and he just leaves it alone for a while. And then he ends up going to the dentist and getting it pulled out. And he doesn't like root canals because he had one. And it didn't go well, and that is the whole song. And it's so it's it's almost like um, it's almost like punk for the new age. Would you say is that fair? Yeah, <laughs> I mean it's kind of like it's almost like screamo. It's it's rap, like it's like, like SoundCloud era rap mixed with screamo. Almost yeah, but it's really head. well produced. Yeah. Like it's well made. It sounds good to the ears. It's just dumb. It sounds interesting to the ears. Yeah. Uh, favorite hyper pop is definitely Dorian Electra, but don't know him. Don't know her. Them. Don't know her. Them. Don't know. Yeah. Don't know. I don't know hyper pop outside of I think Hundred Gex. That's fair. Who I always consider basically a like a a, a fringe rap group. Um, I yeah. <laughs> Hard to even say rap. I mean, I usually listen to like, m- is it all indie yeah. type of. Like, yeah, well, like still what's woozy. Your, what's, Do you know still, still woozy? No. Um, I mean, you know, Cage the Elephant, nice. Tame Impala, cool. Portugal the Man. Sure. Um, and then Still Woozy, Remy Wolf, a little bit of Dominic Fike. Uh, okay, I know Dominic Fike. Yeah, I mean, those are my jams. Oh, I yeah. got into a really big thing of making a ton of Spotify playlists, but yeah. not just that. It's making the Spotify playlist and then making the playlist actually look sick. So, like, what do you mean, like? So, there's one where I made, I got an image, and then I put a glitch emulator on the image to make the cover photo. And then <laughs> I, I got text. A glitch emulator? A glitch, like, generator on the okay. So it would literally, like, glitch and, like, make it look sick. Nice. I don't know how to do Photoshop, so got I just it. go online got and it. use, like, yeah. online glitch No, generator. I like that. And then I, I got font, got a font generator, and then got a glitch font generator. Um, sick. Yeah, and then I make a playlist. This is a and public then, playlist. Oh yeah, nice. How many? How many shares? How many? I have not a lot on. on <laughs> I have a lo-fi playlist that's sixteen hours oh. long, and that one has a few. You like to study to that? I like a oh, lo-fi playlist. Oh, it's lo- lo-fi hip hop beats to study and smoke yeah. crack to. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what it. it's called. And it's Bo Burnham, and I f- I photoshopped that image to make it like super purple and lo-fi. Hey, cool. Yeah. Now that well, one. Based on what you just told me, I think you're gonna like Boy Genius. Oh, I listen to Boy Genius. They're very chill, uh, very calming, which is why it's so weird. Like I, did, yeah, you think it's an interesting pair up, yeah. Be cool together, but I don't know how the fuck the music yeah. is gonna pair up at all. Yeah. Um, but it's gonna be a great concert. I'm excited for you. Gonna do any drugs? No, we don't have any, <laughs> which is the limiting thing. Um, have you ever taken drugs at a concert before? I yeah. Do you know Beast Coast? Yes. Yeah. Nick Caution and Flatbush Zombies. Yeah. yeah and uh, Joey Badass yeah, and a few yeah. others. Yeah. Um, went with that to my friend. <sighs> First time I actually nice. listened to them, they dropped an album, and me and my friends went to the beach, put it on, and we were tripping acid. And so nice. at the, the beach, there was a thunderstorm going on in the distance over the ocean. So every time a lightning strike would go, it would streak yeah. across the entire yeah. sky. And it was, it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> Hell yeah! Listen that's to the sick. whole thing, and right oh, when it finished, yeah. it started downpouring right in front of us. Oh, yeah, that was, that's the best. I had something similar like that once. I took acid up north, and we watched a storm roll in over the lake. It was nice. Yeah, we, we watched a bee kill itself. What? Yeah, How? We, we watched a bee 
pull its stinger out and then pull all its guts out. Oh. And then die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was, was gnarly. Like it was cool gnarly. to watch an ass or was it like? It was mesmerizing. It was yeah. like a national, ge- it was like I was living in a National Geographic special. Yeah. Um, not, yeah. But that's a great story, man. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's only one time. Oh yeah, the fucking Beast Ghost concert. Yeah. We got drunk as shit, tripped down half a tab, and then we went to the, and they had this huge inflatable nice. head of the Statue of Liberty in the back, oh. and they were like flying around on cables and shit. It was awesome. Were they good live? Oh, they were they were great live. I saw Flatbush Zombies live. It was one of my favorite concerts. Yeah, they all came out of caskets in the beginning. Really? They wheeled out three caskets and they came out. That's of them. so sick. It was pretty cool. Yeah, dude, they know how to perform. <laughs> they, they just got it down. Yeah, dude. Uh, Love that. Um, what else do you want to talk about, man? I have no idea, <laughs> honestly. I know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I've been in a weird headspace the last few days. What's what's been causing it? <sighs> you know, that's a great question. Um, you know, I'm part time employed now, mm. and I'm very grateful for my job. Yeah, I mean, it seems like a cool job. It is. It's very cool. It's like starting to the creator space. Yeah. Um, but it. What do you want to end up doing? <sighs> you know, that's. I think at the end of the day, the weird headspace that I'm in is stemming from the fact that I don't really know, and I don't. And I think I don't really know anything. You know, yeah. I don't know what I'm. Do- Every day I wake up and I don't know what I'm doing. Is that like you didn't plan anything or it's just like you're waking up and you're like, this isn't exactly what I want to do, but I don't know what to do anyway. It's probably more to the second one, but it's like I've never been a person that's like I've never been a planner. I've never liked to make plans. I've never been good at planning, which I've which is, you know, obviously pros and cons. But like one of the pros to me has been like I've never really been upset when something doesn't go exactly how I thought it would in my mind because I'm like, well, I didn't. You know, that's why I don't have a plan, so you can stick and move. Oh, okay. But, uh, you know. But then I feel like that leaves you <laughs> aimless when you, like, you wake up and you're like, what the fuck am I going to do? And then you spend, like, 30 minutes figuring it out. Yeah, every day is a, every day is an adventure. Yeah. Um, I don't know, you know. I've talked about it on a lot of episodes of the podcast at this point. But, uh, you know, we're going to try to fix the sleep schedule at some point. Uh, how's your sleep schedule? Because we've been leaving this space yeah. at 10. <laughs> and I am someone who goes to bed at like 3 in the morning yeah. on the East Coast, <laughs> which is uh, t- midnight here. And yeah. somehow I've been going to bed even earlier. Nice. Uh, yeah, I know. I My sleep schedule has been atrocious like my entire life, even since like middle school. Yeah, well, like that used to, like for most of my... You know, from when I got to Ann Arbor until I left, it was like two or three a.m. till like ten, eleven in the morning. And yeah. now it's like I'm going to bed. I mean, except on the bad days, I'm able to go to bed around like midnight. But then I wake up at like ten thirty, eleven still, you just dead tired. Hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you're sleeping. I'm too oversleeping. Much. Yeah. If I'm you oversleep, oversleeping. you're still tired. Yeah, it's fucked up. But I hate getting out of bed. It's my least favorite thing to do. Same here. <laughs> I always get a, I always wake up, stay in my bed for like another at least like thirty minutes on my God, phone. Dude. Yeah, Stupid and that's shit. and and our friend Ben preached the the value of uh you know, putting the phone away an hour before you go to bed and not getting on it for an hour till a- after you wake up. <coughs> <laughs> you don't do that? Uh, okay. Ben tries so to, but he's not as I do type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very much someone who is like, do as I say, not as I do. Yeah. So you're on, like, I'm assuming you're like me then. You're on the phone until you're asleep, and then it's the first thing you look at in the morning. Yeah. I mean, when you say until I'm asleep, I take like 15, 20 minutes to go to bed when I like. When you're like, it's time to go to bed. Yes. Wow. Just like putting, I put my phone down, and then I, some people are like, yeah, I put my head down and I fall asleep. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Well, that's pretty much that, though. 15, 20 minutes is nothing. Dude. You'd be surprised. Dude, Some people just fall asleep immediately. That is true, and that is also mind-blowingly insane to me. But, yeah. like, I, it's, like, always, unless unless I'm, like, awake while my eyelids are getting heavy and I'm, like, actively falling asleep, it's going to take me, like, upwards of half an hour, almost guaranteed, to so finally. So you're, well, you're just laying in bed? Looking at the ceiling, dude, just thinking, like, fuck, man. 
should have done more. <laughs> this is, is going to be a weird episode of the show. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. We're like trying to figure out shit to talk about. And at the same time, I'm looking at Ben rushing his ass ben off. And I'm like, dude, we've got to fucking leave any moment. Ben right is, now. we're nowhere near resolution for this episode. Ben is shoveling pasta down his throat. We've talked about video. I had fun talking about yeah. video games with you. But, Berko, that's why I wanted to bring you on the show because. I didn't want to do the traditional THDR. I mean, I I would love to know about you and, and your upbringing. Ah, I would, but we don't know. But 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 I didn't ask you those questions specifically because I just like shooting the shit with you. Yeah, and that's how our whole, you know, I would like to call you a friend now, especially now. I feel like before we were acquaintances, yeah. but like we only saw each other like a couple times. Because we saw each other at parties, and we were always the go-to people. Yeah, to go to each other at parties. Yeah, because like. Who am I gonna fucking chop it up with? Ah, there's Berko, ben? dude. Yeah, <laughs> fucking talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy right. enough, every time I go to a party with Ben, maybe it's because we live together, but I would go to the party and then ditched immediately. immediately. Yeah. yeah. Like the most that we talked was that one time when you're like, I'm gonna introduce you to a bunch of film people, and I ended up talking to other people anyway. Yeah. And you're like, this is Berko. He's also a nerd, and I'm like, that's <laughs> I love when people. Thanks, do that. Ben. Yeah, no, Ben's notorious for just <laughs> showing up to the function and then just leaving his friends to go social climb for, like, someone. Oh <laughs> he'll go find, like, he'll go find who has, like, the most clout in the room and just kind of metaphorically suck them off until... Yeah. Also, are you not wearing a costume to this? <laughs> Definitely do. <laughs> just put on the wig. It's fucking lame. Oh my god! Yeah, we can't ask Ben questions. He's not mic'd up. I know he's not mic'd up, but it's just bugging me because I was like, it's it's Halloween. Because you're gonna show up costumed. Yeah, it's gonna suck. All right, but it's better than missing the concert. <laughs> so, are you ready to go? Is it time to go? All right. Uh, I think this will this pro probably end up being released over the holiday season. This will probably be a holiday extra. How do you feel about that? Feeling good. We can continue tomorrow morning. Ooh, um, what time? What time's your flight? My flight is at three. Oh. three p.m. Oh yeah, we can do that. I need to leave here, here at around like twelve. <sighs> All right, twelve we'll see. twelve thirty because it's like about an hour to the airport, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see, dude. We'll figure. <laughs> yeah. Um. I but mean, I, you know, I do without a doubt. Like, yeah, without a doubt, you will like be involved in the show again. I appreciate. Well, you, it. you have a job right now, right? No, I don't have a job. You're unemployed. So I was. I had an Amazon internship. Yeah. And uh, I had two actually. I had one last year and then one this year. And this year they were like, "Yeah, we we want to hire you," um, but there was just a, a bunch of layoffs throughout all of software engineering. So they were like, "Yeah, we want to hire you, but we just can't." There's yeah, there's, there's literally no, no jobs. Yeah. Because we just laid everyone. We had <laughs> massive layoffs. Yeah. That's nice. Um, That's reassuring. I know. It was <laughs> fucking great. They didn't tell me until literally the last day. And they're like, we we don't have anything. And I thought I was going to have three years figured out right, right. then and there. Um, but, so uh, I've been trying you know, to get back into That's it a market like, so that you're, you're going to find something. Yeah, it's just a matter yeah. of where, right? When and where. Just when because where. it's like, there's a lot of things you got to consider. It's like, do I want to do startups? Do I want to yeah. do a, a regular bit, company yeah. when the fuck do the jobs open up right. like I need to, it's really just a matter of luck do you want to live in Cal where do you want to live west coast dude that is something i, I just like you like i don't really know where i want to go like i yeah. know i want to do software engineering because i'm good at it but right. like i keep imagining like what if i went into film what if i went into gra <laughs> graphic design what if i went yeah. into this and that what if i started a podcast exactly <laughs> Like I have, I don't have w w this this over here. Yeah. I have like the <laughs> DJ soundboard and and a track like from Newmark nice. or whatever it is. That's dope. Um, but I don't got all this. Hey man, uh, if you end up out here, you can use this whenever you want to get your podcasting <laughs> career off the ground. <laughs> gonna be honest, if I move out here, it's probably probably not gonna start a podcast. So uh -oh. you know, how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to live up to this? Might as well just keep going on yours. This is the best show in the world. It is. There's <laughs> no way you can beat it. Um, All right, man. Yeah. Fuck. Thank you for coming on. We'll have you on again. Yeah. Whether it's tomorrow morning. The problem is just like, I, you know, I'm going to be, <laughs> I, might, I just don't know. My brain doesn't usually start working until about 1.30 p.m. Really? <laughs> Dude, uh -oh. I'm bad. I'm, I'm living a bad lifestyle right now. But uh, we'll figure something out. I promise you this will not be the last time we talk on the I podcast. Appreciate it. I think we got like 
30 minutes at least we have i would say the that counter is running at 41 minutes right now and i would say we have somewhere between 35 to 38 minutes of a good show of a listenable show in there 100 percent. and uh if it doesn't come out this next week it'll come out uh sometime between mm. november and december yeah yeah. I want to get some zingers for the highlights. But yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. Like it's just been like shooting shit. Do you have any like? Whatever. Do you have any like impressions or like fun jokes like that you know? Any fun joke? No. Any you, knock every knock time jokes? I imagine whenever there's like a comedian, they're like, <laughs> "Can you say a joke right now?" It's always like, "So there's this blah blah right, blah," right. and then this blah. It never goes well. No, it's never good. No. And yeah, yeah, that's the worst, dude. Because not like as a uh, amateur stand-up comedian. A lot of people want to be like, well, let me, what, let me, tell me, do, do some of your act. Tell me some, do one of your jokes. Yeah, I know. And then I'm standing up and I'm like, yeah, it's like, it's no. So this one time <laughs> I was on the subway. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I get sad about certain things. I know. <laughs> it's like, bullshit, I don't have a dude. Full fucking episode. Yeah, it's about like, it's like, like my yeah. sad shit. Right. And it's like maybe come, you know, drink some drinks and come to a show with lights and then you can see it. Yeah. But uh, have fun at your concert, man. Yeah. And uh, we'll talk soon. Yeah. And uh, to everybody out there, whether you're watching, you know, either have a, is this Halloween when we're recording it, have a happy Halloween, post Halloween, or have a happy Thanksgiving, or maybe a happy Hanukkah, or, or, or Christmas, or Christmas or, is coming up, maybe, yeah, or New Year, or, or who I knows, really wh- know who holidays. fucking knows. Yeah. All right, Any- we love you. Peace. Bye. Sorry for us, you. Don't worry about it, brother.